following video demonstrates how to import AutoCAD DXF drawings and then convert them to coordinates for uploading to an instrument. If I go to the CAD folder, right click, choose Import, select the DXF file, press Open. I'm not worried too much about the scale, uh, the units obviously are important, otherwise the coordinates would be wrong. So press OK. So if I click the CAD uh, drawing now, we can see all the layers appearing on the right hand side. And when I go to the camera, we can see the drawing itself. If I zoom in, some buildings here. Okay, we're going to try and get N Force to extract the coordinates of these uh, buildings for us. So if we're going to go and set them out, if I query those buildings, you can see the points there, and um, you can see what layer on. It's on a layer building outline. So I'll make that the current layer and turn everything else off. I'll go to layers, build out, make it the current layer. Now I turn everything else off by pressing invert, so it selects everything that was selected and vice versa. Press off, press OK. There we go. So with everything else turned off now, I'll come out of that and go up to the coordinates folder, right click, do new, we'll call it setting out. Press OK. So now I have a blank coordinate block, nothing in it. If I go to the camera, we can see nothing there. I'll begin by going to the Backcloth tool, which allows us to put any information behind another set of information. So if I go to the CAD tab, and I'll move the CAD information over from the left to the right. Press OK and zoom to extents. We do indeed see the CAD. If I zoom into the uh, drawings that, uh, sorry, zoom into the buildings that I'm interested in. I can go to the Tools menu now. Come down to Generate. I can either select objects by uh, indicating them one at a time, or by putting a selection rectangle around them. Just the moment, I'm going to do this by one at a time, so indicate, click the buildings. Okay, when we've got all the buildings that we want, we just right click, ask us for a code. I'll use BD, which I know is already set up for building, and press OK. There we go. If I get rid of the backcloth by using Alt B again, move the CAD back over to the left, we can see that we're left with the buildings. Enforce has essentially taken all the nodes and created a point at them wherever there's an apex on the lines. So obviously in some locations we've got more points than we need. So we'll tidy that up by creating a model. So I go to Models, New, Normal, Setting Out, Under Points, I'll model the points. Camera that. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just remove the superfluous points. I'll go into the points, delete. I'll do it by rectangle, nice and easy then. Delete those points from there, there, there. I didn't want that one, so I'm going to need to undo that. That's obviously the first and the last point on the string. Okay now, so hopefully we've got just the points that we need for the setting out purposes. If you look at the model, there's the points that we need to go and set out. So to export them to a file, we select them all. We right click them and choose export. Change our log file, we can change our file format sorry, to CSV if that was going to be easier for GPS or we can leave it on a logger file format I'll leave it on setting out for the moment and press save and now Enforce asks us what type of instrument are we going to go out to so if I select Leica for the moment press OP that will be exported obviously setting out the coordinates like this we need to obviously be able to correspond the numbers to the drawing so I'm going to go back to the drawing and I'm going to just recode these points. I go to the number tab, enable it. Have them in white so they stand out. Okay, so if we print this drawing now, we'll know exactly which points we're setting out. And that concludes taking AutoCAD DXF information and turning it into coordinates.